Hey guys, I'm FHRC Brony, and first of all, I haven't done a video like this, or actually, in fact, I've never done a video like this. Yeah, I know I've done Forza videos, I've done car related videos, I've done radio control, and all my My Little Pony products are now in a new channel. But there's this one point in time that I want to tell you guys what is going to be my first car, or cars, uh, that's going to be in my garage, or in my dream garage, so on and so forth. First of all, my dad and I are figuring out what car am I going to get once I pass my written exam and my driver's exam of the California DMV. Um, it's probably going to be either one of those old Chevy S10s or those old Toyota Tundras or Tacomas. Basically small pickup trucks. Alright, so in this video I want to talk about my personal cars that I want to get using my own money. Uh, and First of all, if you guys want to check out the specs of the cars that I'm going to be mentioning in this video, take a look at the video description for their information and their basic specs. The first car that I'm going to be getting, or gonna get, using my own money, is a Ford Raptor. And you guys are going to be saying, you can get a Chevy Silverado instead of a, a piece of crap Ford. And probably some people like a friend of mine, Lightning Dad 13, is probably going to say, Raptor, you could get a Lightning. I understand that. First of all, for those uh, uh, picky Chevy Silverado owners, I have nothing against the Chevy Silverado. I like the way it looks, I like the way it does in performance, but first of all, a Ford Raptor is going to be more of my of my off-road capabilities. I want to take it more in off-roading and have a lot of fun with it in, in the dirt. If I was going to get two trucks, of course I'm going to get a Silverado and a Raptor. If I was going to get a Silverado, I would just use it for my for work purposes, you know, like doing all the hauling and stuff, and the Raptor just to have fun with it. Basically, in other words, I don't want to use the language in this channel, but I'm going to use it anyways. For Raptor, kick ass. Chevy Silverado, haul ass, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And then some of my other friends, um, even my fellow subscriber Lightning Dad Thirteen, you could get a you could get a Lightning, a Ford SVT Lightning instead of a Ford SVT Raptor. I like your Lightning, all right. I like the Ford Lightning. It, it's it, it looks cool, but here's the thing: I want to go off roading, and a Ford Lightning cannot do it. Maybe it maybe it can, but just barely. So Ford Raptor for me personally but those trucks that I mentioned I have no problems of buying them but Ford Raptor is gonna be my primary truck to buy next car Chevrolet Corvette C6 generation you guys gonna be saying get a C7 or get a C5 first of all for the C7 people I don't wanna join the bandwagon here's why Here's a C7, 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 and here's a C7. Every time I get outside on the road with my mom or my, my dad, I see C7 Stingrays. They're all over the place. How many times do I see C6? Just barely. I have nothing against the C7 or anything like that. It looks cool. It looks mean. But I don't want to join the bandwagon of, of getting a C7. C5 people. I like the C5. It looks cool. It's nice. But here's the thing. I don't like eyelids. I don't like eyelids. Mazda RX-7, only exception. But I don't like it on a vet. Alright. Next car. Ferrari 360 Modena. And you guys are going to be saying... Are you crazy? Yeah, I know. You guys are going to be saying, A Ferrari? Are you crazy? You gotta be kidding me, right? Well, let's put it this way. How much does a Ferrari 458 Italia cost? About approximately $200,000. I have nothing against a 458 Italia, let's put it that way. I have a collection of 458s in Forza Horizon 1. I have a little model car of a 458 Italia. Just because I'm not going to get a 458 doesn't mean I don't like it. 
I love the car. I love the way it handles. I love the way it performs in Forza Horizon. It's amazing. It's my dream car to have a 4.5 in Italia. But I decided to get a 360 Modena for one simple reason. Because it's cheaper. And it actually depreciated in value immaculately. Here's, here's the thing. Let's put this in simple terms. A Ferrari 458 Italia, even a used condition, costs about $180,000. I, I know this because I talked to a, to some guy in in a car meet a long time ago, and he said a Ferrari 458 Italia's average price on a, in used condition is about $180,000. It's not a it's not a bad price. The original MSRP for a four five eight Italia is about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's a that's a bargain right there. But a three sixty Modena, I could get it for less than eighty thousand dollars. Or 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 in other words, I could get it for cheap. And it's also stick shift as well. I love to get my hands on a stick shift Ferrari. I love to get those kind of Ferrari experiences. I want to have a three sixty Modena because it's cheaper and it's stick shift as well. And yes, the Ferrari 458 Italia shares the same car family as the 360 Modena. The car that came after the 360 Modena was the F430. And the car that came after the F430, the 458 Italia. And then the car that came after the 458 is, the, is today's 488 GTB. So there you guys have it. Those are the three cars that I mentioned in this video that I'm more likely going to get using my own money. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace.